Hey everybody. Okay, so obviously things have changed a lot in the last week and a half, and I sent you two prior uh, sets of instructions for how we're going to conduct business in this class. And I'm going to ask you now to disregard those simply because as things have developed, as uh, things continue to close, now we're online for the rest of the semester, so on and so forth, it occurred to me, um, sorry, this is one of my teaching assistants. Th thanks. Her name is Pip. Um, okay, so <laughs> starting over. So as things have continued to change, it occurred to me that most of you are facing some really uh, challenging circumstances and that this class needs to accommodate for that as well. So some of you may have kids at home now that you're trying to uh, deal with and still do school. Some of your jobs have changed. Uh, your living situation may have changed. And certainly for those of you in senior design, your engineering stuff may have changed. So I wanted to accommodate those changes in my own class and account for things. So I have removed one major assignment and all of the small stuff that goes with it. I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, and I've also updated our course webpage so that all the weeks are now correct. Everything that is in a given week um, is what belongs there according to our new calendar. And um, I wanted also to give you um, just a quick word about about this class. One thing to remember, and I think I've mentioned it to some of you in person, is that technical writing is about what is. So in an essay class, you might be frantic thinking, oh no, I'm not going to get my project done in the same way, therefore my paper can't get done correctly. But that's not the case. Um, in engineering, projects change and adapt all the time. Okay, so basically whatever it is that you are doing to finish out senior design, um, and for your regular class, that's what's going to be reflected in the writing. So you can think of the white paper as an up-to-the-minute giant progress report, if that helps you think of it that way. Um, you may not be able to prototype in the way that you were hoping because things are shutting down and you can't get your materials. Um, it may be more theory-based instead of that sort of practical. Um, it just kind of depends on, on what your engineering professor has decided to do. Uh, so, but keep in mind, all of those changes then are what will be reflected in your white paper. You may not have sections. You may need to report on the fact that your project had to change completely because of moving everything online. Um, if everything's gone to hell, that's what you're going to be reporting, okay? Um, okay, so before I get to um, talking about the actual calendar, I wanted to show you a few more of your teaching assistants. I'm in my kitchen. And here are the other four, and they are ever so helpful in um, understanding technical writing and all of the important things that you and I are caring about today. So, all right, so now if you turn your attention, obviously, to the bigger part of the screen, um, here's our, our, our Blackboard page. Um, I've removed the announcement here in a minute. There will be an announcement up here at the top, at the top with this video and some written uh, instructions based on what I'm saying here in the video. Um, over here on the side, you'll notice, and actually down here, I've simply removed week 10. Um, week 10 is the one that we're in, this second spring break. Um, I have bumped everything forward so that the weeks now are correct. We've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 as is, okay? All of the items in these folders are now correct according to the new calendar. Now let me show you the new calendar. Okay, you'll notice final calendar update, okay? So hopefully this is the last change we have to make and we can finish the semester strong, okay? Um, the big change is that I have removed the communicating technology project. Um, I have simply exempted all of your grades. That basically means that you all get a 10% increase in your score or it's just not counted in your score. All right. Um, I have also, because of that, removed uh, discussion board number seven because it was essentially a small peer review of that assignment. And I've removed all of the reading and lectures um, regarding that. So um, what you'll see here is that everything is correct. What you see in, in um, here in week 11 is what was in the original calendar week 10. I've adapted it a little bit. Um, I have moved the, de the, the deadline again of the progress report to week 12, okay? Um, and so it's due here March 30th, uh, and then you move into lecture, into videos. And so starting week 13, essentially, everything gets back to normal. We've just taken out sort of a chunk of work and spread out the remaining work to fill in the gaps and to lighten your load. Um, 
one thing to keep in mind is I have kept the uh, discussion board numbering um, and so you will be missing discussion board number seven like here you'll see number six and then down here you see number eight I'm not changing that because it would disrupt certain things in blackboard that are just annoying and 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 whatever so just keep in mind that you're not missing anything it's numbered I just took all those things out so again what you should see here is that I've simply lightened the load we missed an extra week I took out one big assignment it won't be counted against you or for you it's just negated from the figuring of your grade um, and then you should be able to go on from there um, like I said then I will have an um, uh, a vi I'll post this video up here at the top and if anything else comes up obviously let me know I'm rooting for you guys if you find yourselves in a particularly tight spot we need to talk about extensions that kind of thing let me know if there's anything I can do to help let me know obviously uh, via email is probably still best um, it's rumsey s at pfw.edu I also took out the required second meeting with me I will be deciding here in a little bit um, what I'm going to do for office hours or um, opening up for uh, sort of voluntary meeting me online maybe in Skype or something like that um, in the coming weeks so hang in there you guys we're in this together it's going to be a great end of the semester in spite of everything take care